Hiya. Happy firmware upgrade day. Uh, the kind folk at Headrush have been down the uh, music shop and they've come back with a Trace Elliott Elf bass amp. They've come back with a uh, Boss Blues driver, which we're calling a B2 drive. They've come back with a, uh, a Boss Dimension C, which we're calling a Dim Chorus. They've come back with an acoustic preamp. They've come back with a party verb, a particle reverb. How much have I been begging for one of those? And most importantly, they've allowed us to have more than one IR in a, in a block. So much like the speakers, we can double up the IRs. We'll get to that in a minute. So obviously there's been the uh, ordinary uh, bug fixes and that. Um, so let's get into it. Let's start with the acoustic pre, which is in the EQ section. I actually like it. It's a it's a cool thing. It's a cool thing. It's a very simple three band EQ voiced for guitar. Right, we're in. So this is the acoustic preamp set dead flat. You can brighten things up, obviously. Bottom things up. which works great. It sounds a bit pizza-y, if you know what I mean, but that's the nature of the pickup in the, uh, in the guitar. If you add a microphone to it, you can get some nice sounds. Big fan of that, of the acoustic uh, EQ. I will be using that a lot. So on to Ye Electric Guitars. That's the electric guitar through the acoustic pre. I actually quite like that. Uh, let's put some chorus on it. Okay while we're here let's talk about the Dimension Chorus. This is a clone of the Boss Dimension C, which comes in two flavours, uh, Stomp and Rack. Very similar. I think the Stomp is marginally, marginally thinner. I used to have one of these. The trick is that you could combine the four buttons. So one button on its own. was a fairly standard chorus that came in four flavours. But the trick was you could combine two buttons. Which is okay. It's a very uh, faithful reproduction of that pedal. I should confess I actually sold mine. So what does it sound like through an amp? Uh, yeah, it's good. That's a bog standard Fender Twin. Let's take the tremolo off. Yeah, I like the Dimension Chorus. So uh, we're in a clean amp. The vibrato is off. Tiny bit of reverb. What's this here uh, blues driver like, you ask? Pretty damn good. It turned that clean fender into a raging monster. I like it. Yeah, it's good. All kinds of drive in there. I'm going to be a fan of that. I can tell. What else have we got new? Party verb. Okay, this is the one I've been waiting for. Now, the party verb, don't be don't just turn it on and go Yeah, that's nice, because it is. 
the trick with the party verb or is that it has these aren't presets these are kinds of particle so if you go into the the random particle do you hear the randomness different random so then if you go to ascension you can hear it rising up so the particle verb has got all manner of uh, different effects within it It's interesting because it's got a um, a damp control on it, which is very cool for stopping it getting out of control. So the. The gain control is kind of how much of the particle is getting through and then you can tame that with the damp. So like if you go full gain, full damp, you'd never go full gain. But anyway, let's go full gain and then take the damp off. You'll see what I mean. It's out of control. So you will want a degree of damping on there. I've spent ages playing with this, I love it. The particle verb has made my day. Sorry, the party verbs made my day. Um, but don't forget, there's lots of different versions of it to plough through. These are all different particles. Uh, where do we go from there? Over to the bass world where we have our new Trace Elliot. What does that sound like? Yeah, I like it. Let's compare it to the old Ampeg. Yeah, the Ampeg's slightly drier, darker. A lot of bite on the uh, Trace Elliot. So what controls have we got? We've got a distortion knob. What does that do? Oh. It adds lots of distortion. <laughs> Okay, it's a very grainy distortion. Yeah, I like it. I think I would have liked a distortion mix control rather than this gain because it's the same amount of distortion at different volumes. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, we'll turn that off. I like it though, it's a good amp. Uh, that's the bass department dealt with. Let's talk about the new IR handling. Um, they've changed the IRs so that they're now a pretty picture of a speaker and not just a coloured box. Uh, a lot of people will be happy about that. Um, but more importantly, they've made it so you can have two IRs in the single block. So what's the difference, you ask? Well, here we are. This is a uh, cabir.eu orange 4x12, one of with the high cuts and the low cuts set like that. Mix 100%, gain minus 9. Very serviceable. Serviceable orange 4x12. But now, we can have two of them. I've actually got... Um, the, very, the exact same IR is, that is here is the bottom one and the top one is a Celestian G12H from the uh, Celestian IRs that come free with the head rush. So what's the difference? Uh, to my ears it's slightly less focused because there's now two IRs um, but there's slightly more width um, even though it's not panable stereo. So if you listen this is two. <laughs> So the, the one is definitely more focused. 
But when you're playing chord, you, you hear the two cab effect working really well. Uh, there's one tiny anomaly at the minute. Anomaly, which is if you create your two um, IR block and save it as a preset, I've called it stack. Let's save it again. There we are. And then you uh, later on decide that you would like that back. You come into your IRs. You look for stack. You put it in. Lo and behold, it's one IR. I've told Headrush about this. I was hoping they'd fix it before they released the uh, firmware, but they haven't. If you push the, the doubler to get the two IRs, they're now both... Whatever was the top one is now both of them. So uh, presets don't work with two IRs yet. I'm sure they will at some point. Um, but it's a great feature. Uh, and you can actually go mad. Look, you can uh, you can have two. You can have four. You can have eight. Why you would ever want to do that, I don't know, other than to say to users of other modelers, oh, we can have uh, eight IRs. Completely useless function, and I hope they take it out. But there you go. So there are all the new things in the new firmware update. People say the head rush doesn't get updates. This is the second one in like two months. So they're coming thick and fast. Um, I'd like a slicer in the next one, if you're listening, Mr. Head Rush. A slicer would be uh, a delightful. I've even designed it if you want me to send you the plans. <laughs> um, so that's it for this firmware update. I'll see you on uh, 2.7 day. Bye-bye now.